this ebook course space, man. I, I'm, I'm trying to crush it. Oh man, you you started at where um, where I started at. I started same thing, man. Ebook um, graduated into a course, and now now it's that whole advertising of the course, which I'm mastering right now. Um, but it's not. It's definitely not an overnight thing. You know what I mean? Um, right. But that's that's where I started, man. That's why I got into Kartra two years ago was because I was I was I was launching a book, and I'm like, man, what's the best platform out there? And ClickFunnels is the shit. But at the same time, you have to pay for multiple services. That's you know what I mean. That's what I heard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's just, and and so some 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 people like that. Um, in fact, a guy that I follow, he just he literally just dropped a video yesterday actually it was yeah it was yesterday and then i got another email about it today it was a youtube video how he's talking about how and this dude crushes it like he's a he's a eight figure earner online with with courses um <clears throat> but he he put out a video specifically on why he uses multiple softwares right. you know what i mean but it's like yeah, <clears throat> like if you're just starting out like I don't know how someone can afford all that dude it's like it's it's several hundred per month when you when you break it all down you know, and that's why I was like, damn, with, with Karcher, I'm getting all that for a hundred bucks a month. Like I, I see start that there. <laughs> I right? see that. And I just signed up. I don't know if you got an alert. I just signed up maybe like 30 minutes ago. Oh, right on, man. Right on. Yeah. I should, I don't, they don't send alerts, but you can look in your back office and then you can, you can track it through the, through the, through the actual, um, back office of Karcher, which okay. I'll show you where it's at. But, um, yeah, I can see it in there. It's all good, man. It's all good. Good. Okay. So I didn't, where I'm at right now, I'm at the get started and I have it on my phone. I need to choose my domain, yes. but it says that you can't change it. Well, what the, the actual, yeah, you cannot change the, the URL that you start with, with Kartra. So if it, if it's G dot that G won't, you won't be able to change that. But at the same time, it doesn't really matter because what you'll want to eventually do is get your own domain and then integrate okay. that domain with your Kartra URL. Okay. Okay, so, let me um, go in and sign up right now because it's asking me for my password and my uh, and my secret question. I'm gonna just put like, like you said, a generic domain name. You could, you could put your name, actually, you know what, to tell you the truth, if you're trying to brand yourself, I would maybe just put your name. Really? Yeah, for sure, okay. Gregory Mathis put that. Um, and then it'll be gregorymathis.kartra.com and that, and and then again, you you'll be able to go and get whatever business domain you want, and then you could just forward it to that. that oh, I see sense? what you're saying. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Watch, like for example, let me um let me share my screen. Okay. Let me show you. Let me show you what I, what I mean. So, for example, like like this one, for example. I only have one domain inside of Kartra. Like I have many different projects that I'm working on. Um, different avenues within my business, you know, that I got going on, but it's only one domain because it's really, it's only that one domain that I'm really advertising that I'm really pushing. Cause that's my book. That's my book. That's my, my digital course. It's all under that okay. one domain. So when you come, when you, when you set up a page, you'll be able to see a drop down. See, so here's my, here's my Kartra one, the one that I set up, you know, this is where right. you're at right now. So I put my name three P, you know, David Cantero, three P.Kartra.com. And yeah, I can't change that. But what I did is I integrated my domain. And so with the account that you're about to start on, you get one domain for the account. And so that's my one domain. And I've, I've, yet, I've yet to, even though I, I'm telling you I have multiple projects going on, I have multiple domains like through GoDaddy. Um, but inside of Kartra, I just use, if it's not this social real estate agent, if it's not that project and it's a completely different project, I'll just use this Kartra one. And then, and then I'll, and then I'll go get a domain from GoDaddy and just forward it to that page. But that's if it's a page that I'm advertising. Like if, it, if it's not a page that I'm advertising, then I don't even care. And no, neither does people. People, when they see your link, right. they, they ain't tripping. You know what I mean? Like right. as long as it takes them somewhere, as long as it, as long as it, it, it takes them where they're supposed to go. So I just use, I use the Kartra link for, for nine out of 10 of the projects that I got going on in only one custom domain. Um, and again, when you customize it, <clears throat> then you can, then you can, you can switch it to that and then I can name it whatever I want. So the social real estate agent.com forward slash ebook. Got you. Got you. <laughs> you know what okay, I mean? Okay. Okay. So if I wanted to, cause my company is called on time solutions group. So I can do on time solutions. Oh yeah. At, 
that Kartra, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to go in and do that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, for sure. And then, and then again, you can always use that, but at the same time, that's not that you don't really, if it's a business that you're going to be promoting like on IG or Facebook or whatever, um, mm -hmm. then yeah, you'll, you'll get your, your, your actual domain. So that domain that you own, if you got it through GoDaddy or whatever, I'll show you how to integrate it with Kartra. So then now you can just okay. promote that professional looking domain and have it forward to this name that you're setting up right now. Okay. Yeah. Cause what I just did, I just set it up under on time solutions because it wouldn't let me put on time solutions group so i just put on time solutions perfect perfect man do you have do you have that domain i do i have a website on time solutions group but i don't have on time solutions domain okay so then um if you're using the website that you have now is it like a main website that you're using that you got in play and in, in all that you're promoting it and all that the, the group? oh yeah uh -huh. on time solutions group.com yeah yeah it's up yeah. and running right now let me um, let me take a look at it real quick. On time solutions group. Oh damn! On time solutions group. Solutions group. Okay, on time solutions group. Okay, cool. What do you got going on with this, man? So I do business credit. I do business funding. Nice. Um, so that's kind of that's that's the space I'm in. Right on, man. Where are you hosting this page at? Uh, or is I someone use just WordPress. Do okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it, it, it's a GoDaddy domain. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. You can you can duplicate once you once you start to get familiar with Kartra, you can duplicate this exact page, man. Like and just keep everything in Kartra. Really? Oh yeah, for so, sure. So, but but the only thing, so it doesn't matter that I can't put the whole on time solutions group uh dot cartra because it's insane it's too many uh characters it, it's all good what you're gonna be able to do now if if you take my advice and just and just duplicate this page like i could i could literally duplicate this page inside of cartra in 10 minutes like yeah. as long as you got the images like that this is a five minute job like literally right. a five minute job um inside of cartra just duplicating it putting all the, the i mean this is simple so what i'm saying is that rather than hosting on wordpress create the same page inside of Kartra and use that same domain inside of Kartra. So go to okay. instead of whatever you want right now with the Kartra, with the dot Kartra, that, that could be whatever. You have okay. the domain up here and, and you could just start forward, forwarding that to the Kartra name. Okay. I just me? set it up just now. Yeah. Cool, man. So, so I have the ebook. I have a business credit ebook. Um, nice. nice. I, I'm trying to give it away for free. Perfect. Uh, it's, a, it's a good ebook. Tells people how to build business credit. And it gives them some personal credit uh, building tips. Um, not personal credit repair, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but personal credit building tips. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. So it's a 13 page ebook, and I want to give it away for free. And I want to put this on Kartra and I want, I want to run ads. Yes. And then yes. about, I, and, and once I build up, then I want to create my course and I want to drop my course for yep. like maybe four or 500 bucks. Yep. Oh, yeah. That, that's that's where you want to be that, that's exact that's 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 exactly what i got going on inside of Kartra, man like exactly okay. exactly so i got like inside of Kartra, i got my book um which is right here the book so i got a i got a free book page let me see if i can um just show it to you right here okay so i got i got this nice free, so this is nice. this is my free book so free book reveals the top five steps to implement on social media to capture more leads and build your personal brand fast so i target real estate agents with this right uh, oh wow, my wife's a my wife is a Georgia realtor, man. Oh man, I'll put her up. Uh, yeah, I'll put her <laughs> up on game, man. There's a uh, on on my. I don't know if you followed any of my of my other YouTube videos, but I always talk about over here how for the past few years, well, since 2016, I've been I've been helping real estate agents because I come from mortgages. I was I was a lender for six years and doing mortgages, so I that's the okay. whole industry I come from. But in and that was from 2010 to 2016. But in 2016, I left mortgages to start consulting mm -hmm. real estate agents on social media marketing nice. Nice. Uh, because I just knew that the majority of them were not leveraging social media. I knew that the majority of them that were actually trying to advertise were spending a ton of money offline and just it right. wasn't where the business was anymore, right? So I, 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 in 2016, I, I started requesting friends over here. So my 5,000, this, this 5,000 list 
every single one of them. Like I talk about this on my YouTube channel almost every day because I'm always, I'm always talking to agents. So I'm always doing these strategy calls and, and, and showing them and I'll take that okay. same video and put it on YouTube. But I always talk about how out of my 5,000, 4,999 are real estate agents. So this oh, is where wow. I get my business from. So, so mm -hmm. I request agents, I, I, I build relationships with them. I, I message them. I, I, I get down with them on Facebook. And then before you know it, mm -hmm. we're on a zoom call and then I'm, you know, really helping them out. But, um, over here, the reason I'm even showing you this is because there's, there, that's where the whole inspiration of my book came from. Because as I, as I started requesting agents, I already knew that majority of them didn't leverage social media. I, like that's why I left mortgages to start helping these to try to build my own business. Um, but then when I started connecting with them, I'm like, damn, they're really missing the basics. Like yeah. not, they're all looking for that next buyer or the next seller. They're all trying to capture that next lead. But, but based on how their pages are set up, how it's optimized, I'm like, damn, they're all missing the basics. Right. And so that's what inspired me to write, to write my book um, where I talk about these five basic steps, you know, to implement. And it, and it really, these five steps, they apply to any business. So I'm going to eventually roll this out to everyone, but I, I try nice. to really niche down and only focus on, you know, the realtor. But this is, this is my page. So that person, they come here. Um, and what I did on mine is I added a little time clock. And so okay. when that time clock hits zero, it ends up redirecting them to my actual sales page where I sell it for five bucks. So, gotcha. so if, if they land on that free book page and, and they're, they're hesitating on something free, it's like, shit, okay, well, I'm going to redirect your ass and you, you go pay for it if you're right, right now. Right. You know, right. so, I'm going I'm, I'm to write that down while you're talking. Man. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and so it re redirects them to this page. And then this is just a long form uh, sales page, which I literally cloned inside of Kartra. So the thing about Kartra, man, is all these pages are already done for you. So that's wow. why you don't have to be creative. You don't have to think about, okay, damn, where does it go? You don't have to go? recreate the wheel. No, man, not at all. You just simply, and I'll walk you through it all, but you simply look at it, look at all the templates and be like, okay, cool. I'll choose that one. And so a dude by the name of Frank Kern, I don't know if you're familiar with Frank Kern, but um, he's a, he's been an, an online marketer for the past 15, 20 years and just crushes it mm -hmm. online but he is a big guy behind Kartra and behind a lot of the templates so he had a book out for years and this was his template so you can literally just clone the template and I rewrote everything to fit my niche right but everything the pa the paragraph this everything was already there all I had to do is fill in the blanks okay so this is a long form sales page and then boom send me the book right when they click on that orange button um in fact let me just show you the real the real version of it um, but right when they click on that orange button, then a Kartra uh, checkout um, um, little window pops up, and then the, and then that's where they could put their credit card information. So they come to the okay. they come to the page, and then boom, they can either click on the image, like I set up, I linked the image, but they can click on that, and then boom, it takes them through the 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 purchase process. And here's a cool thing also. Here's how I have mine set up. And again, you'll start with your free one, but but it it don't hurt to 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 add you know no it doesn't. Right. right. And, and, right. and some people will buy it too. I have a ton of people that buy it. Um, and so right here, this is, this is what's cool. And this works with, with any page builder, but this is what I have set up on mine as well is that when a person, there's a three-step process, cart billing and payment. So right when they hit that button, they click continue. And this is where they put their name, email and, and information. And then once they hit continue again, boom, I already got their info. So if they get to the uh, payment part and they back out, I have a handful of emails that are set up. Hey, Gregory. Hey, man, I noticed you were on my page. I noticed you were about to uh -huh. check out. Hey, what happened, man? You get cold feet? What's going on? And that's on? your funnel. That's your automation. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's yeah. my See, email I need automation. That. <laughs> oh, yeah. I need that. <laughs> that's my email automation. And, and it's not a yeah. ton of emails. You could set up as many as you want. But in this specific cart abandonment sequence that I have, in fact, mm -hmm. I'll show it to you. Um, in this specific one, I just have three set up which are just, you know, obviously getting them back to, um, to purchase, to check out, I should say. And so communications sequence, this is your email autoresponder. So these are the list. So whenever, whenever anyone comes to an opt-in page and they opt in, they land on a list. And then that list is tied to a sequence. Now, not, it's not required. You don't need a sequence tied to every list, but you want, you want a sequence tied to every list. You want a handful of emails that are automated, right? So in this case with that one, that one is, um, this one down here, the book abandonment cart. So in here, 
look, six of them abandoned. So in here, I have three emails that are already set, you know, ready to, they, when they click on that, on that, on that word, it takes them straight to the checkout where they can, where they can finish checking out. And so um, these three, they're not set out. They're not sent out over the period of days. Nice. They're actually set. They're actually sent out over the period of hours. So, so right, this tag, this indicates who this person is. So lead is assigned uh, cart abandonment cart or book abandonment cart. And the way mm -hmm. the system knows to tag them with that, with that specific tag is through the actual checkout. So if they don't fully check out, that's how that tag is read. Right. So, right. so right away, boom, they get that. And then immediately they're going to get this email right here. Stacy, you forgot to check out, you know what I mean? And, and this email right here will go out to them immediately. And then I have another one that goes out two hours later. And then I have another one that goes out seven hours later. Oh, wow. And so if they don't buy on that third email, then, you know, at least I have them on a list and I can just email them in the future if I want, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Right. So, um, so that that's that's super powerful right there man um yeah that's 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 the automation i'm looking for yeah that yeah this that's what i'm saying man without without karcher i mean obviously i'm gonna sound super biased on this call but but i'm gonna keep it real if there was something better i'd, I'd be up on that you know what i mean but i, I, I just truly believe and, that and, and, and i believe that right like, i believe that mm -hmm. as a beginner like we we like i don't know about you but in the beginning i didn't have hundreds of dollars to splurge on software you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like I needed the most economical one and thank God I came across this because I've been on it for two years now. And, and I run my entire business um, off of this, but, but at the same time, just to break it down, you would, you would need, you would need an email autoresponder. That's number one, my communications to pay separately. You would need my pages, which is your landing pages. You would need a membership course hosting platform, which is like Kajabi. Now, well, well, I, well, I need a membership um or no it's e all in this one it's all in this bro like it's okay. all in this it's okay. all in this like look for example the course that i'm working on i'm not quite done with it yet but this is what i'm i'm launching so when it so when it comes to my book when it comes to my book that's what this book is all about i have this book and then i'm upselling them on my course which is this one right here so i'm i'm like 99 percent done but this is my this is the the inside of my membership course so as they log in um, I have modules all right here. So how to customize oh, your social nice. media links and then boom, these are all videos and, and I'm just taking them through a tutorial, you know, screen share. Like this is me right here on, um, screen share. Let me see if you can hear it. Welcome back you guys. Oh yeah. We're going over our Twitter and simply customizing our Twitter account. I like that. Yeah, man. So everything is up in here. Um, I got I got this module with ha which has a ton of videos all within that module and then I got the second module four videos four videos inside of that one and then my third module five videos inside of that one so it's like I got like 55 videos in this in this training course wow. um, and and by the time I'm done with it which would be, which which needs to be like any day now like I've been I've been taking too long with this only because mm -hmm. I'm trying to I'm trying to really put a package as much value in You're it trying to get value yep yeah, man. Because here's, here's that's how you win. Yeah, man. I'm I'm really trying to pack it on, pack it on. Because here's the deal. Let me show you. Um, this is what I plan on selling it for. So I know you mentioned four or five hundred, but this is this is how much I plan on selling mine for. So this is so right when they go to my webinar and they watch my pre first of all, here's my landing page. So again, I'm I'm almost done. But but when, but so I'm gonna be running Facebook ads to my presentation to my webinar, right? So this is the landing page right here. Um, five steps to implement on social media to capture more leads and build your personal brand fast. Um, and this is all tailored towards real estate agents. So when they come to this page, this simple landing page, they click here, they opt in, and then they go straight into my web class in progress. Right. And so this right here is gonna be me just on a 60 minute um, presentation, like. I've been pitching rate agents for four years now. So, so all I'm going to do is my exact pitch, but I'm going to do it myself with obviously mm -hmm. no one on the phone with me. Um, but I've closed hundreds of clients. That's why I can't see this not selling. Um, you got some people that, that, that like the whole do it yourself. And then you got some people that want you to do it for them. So for right. the past four years, I've been doing it for them. And so 
that's one specific market. And then, and then but that takes up a lot of time too, right? It, shit. A lot of my time. Yeah. A lot yeah. of your time. Yeah. Hell yeah. A lot of my time. And then, and then having to deal with clients. I don't really like that, man. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I don't really, I don't really like dealing with clients. So, so what I'll, so, so again, so long story short, my whole thing with this is, is packaging up my knowledge and, and putting it. it all in a course and That's teaching it. people how to You're fish. duplicating yourself. Hell yeah. That's and so you're doing. This right here is, is one of my pages inside of my course. And I mean, inside of the, uh, of the webinar, when they watch the presentation and here's what happens. They, they opt in, they opt in to the landing page and then boom, it, it takes them straight here. And this is all they see. The bottom part doesn't open up until like 50 minutes in. So they ain't even going to see the offer unless they watch it. Correct. You feel me? So, so right at, let's say it's a 60 minute presentation at 50 minutes in, boom, the bottom opens up. And then here's my countdown clock with like 14 minutes. And then, and then, so here's the price that I, that I'm putting, putting on this one um, down here at the bottom. This is where they could check out. That's, that's a good I'm, price. That's what I'm trying to get. And I'm trying to get 10. That's a good price. Day. Yeah. You, you can know, do it. I truly believe like once you, once you really perfect, let's say, for example, you roll out, you, you roll out your book, you're successful with that. One thing you're going to want to do is get a bunch of reviews, like, like get reviews, like say, Hey man, you might give me, and put that in your email sequence. So the moment they download the book, maybe, maybe three emails down. Hey John, Hey man, thank you so much for down, downloading my book a few days ago. Hey man, did you get a chance to read it? If so, will you mm -hmm. do me a huge favor? Will you please give me a review and, and tell me what you thought um, on my book? I'm, I'm looking to leverage these reviews and, and build something even more special. You know what I mean? Like you put that in, a, in an email sequence and you link it to wherever you want them to give you a review, maybe on your business, on your Facebook business page. And then boom, you leverage that. So I got a ton of reviews. I got like 70 reviews. I've been doing this for a few years. So I know what the market needs. It's just, it's just now, again, you got different markets. Now I'm looking to target a market who are willing to do it themselves. And that's a small gotcha. market. That, that ain't everybody. Everybody wants to try to delegate it, right? Some people want to learn yeah. it. Some people want to delegate it. So I'm looking for those who want to who want to learn it, and and hopefully you know I can find a few. But that's 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 that man, and that's inside of Cartridge. So this is my course. So exactly what you're that's thinking, insane. Exactly what you're thinking is exactly what Cartridge is, man. So again, what most people do is they pay separate for all this stuff. They pay separate for the email autoresponder. They pay separate for my pages. They pay they pay separate for the membership hosting. Because you need a you need a host you need to host your membership course on some platform. Most people spend separate on that, and then they also spend separate on the calendar. So those are the main main ones, and then and then the product to check out to purchase that normally comes with any landing page software. Like you can you can you know sell something on ClickFunnels for mm -hmm. example, but um, it's really the, the four separate ones is my communications, my pages, my memberships, and my calendars. And again, you're looking at about four hundred bucks a month for all those four separately. Right. When you're only paying $99, $99, man. And you ain't going to need it. to upgrade for a while. Like not until you pass like 2,500 leads, which is a long time from now. So, so, and, and I haven't even passed 2,500 because one thing that I do really, really good is I make, is I clean my list and I make sure that people are deleted. Like if you unsubscribe or if that's a, if, or, or, or if someone opts into any of my landing pages and they put a whack ass email, I make sure I take that one out. Cause I don't want that. I don't want that lead count counting. You know what I mean? I want to be right. able to clear that, that, that out and, and only have a clean right. ass list. So scrub your list. How often scrub do you your scrub list. your list? Man, to tell you the truth, all, I mean, I kind of do it all the time, bro. Like no, no exaggeration, but to give you like, to give you a, a specific time, I would, I would, I would advise you to maybe scrub your list. Maybe, maybe, maybe once a month, once a month is all you need. Go through it once a month. And, and when you go through it, you're going to look at, you're going to, you're going to look at all your leads. You come into my communications to the left and then you can, and then, and then by default, it brings you to the leads. What the way you'll do it, one way to do it, the way I do it is I'll just simply go through all my leads. And if I don't see a green dot, it'd be red. So if it's red, then that person either unsubscribed or, or, um, um, it's a bad email. Okay. And so I'll just simply hit 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 that check check mark it and then i'll come over here and i'll delete lead gotcha that's why like my 505 if i kept every lead lead in there because you got some people that just want to hack your shit you know what i mean just want to opt in mm -hmm. just to see what you're up to right 
and, 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 then, and then they end up just putting a, a whack email. So they end up just seeing what your thank you page is. Cause I'm going to keep it real. I do that sometimes to people like, cause people that I follow, <laughs> I've been doing it. Hell I've been yeah, doing right. That. <laughs> and sometimes I don't put my real email. I just want to see where they're taking me. Right. right. And so right. those types of emails to the person matter the person like, like us that have the email autoresponder because that lead count is counting against our cost. And that's how, that's how all the email autoresponders, um, that's how they, the, they work the price. It's all based on the amount of leads you have. So whether it's MailChimp and you're starting off with MailChimp and it's free, okay, it's free for a little bit, but until you hit 2,000 leads, then they start charging you. And right, so right. I would have been at, I would have been at several thousand if I kept in a bunch of whack emails. And then even, even people that I don't do business with, like people that actually put a good email in, but maybe I'm not going to do business ever again with them. I'll delete them too. Just so right. I can keep that number, you know, lower than low until my numbers just completely get stupid where I, you know, no matter what I got to go over, you know what I mean? I got to upgrade. It's all good by then, but until then just clean your, clean your list out. Okay. You know? So um, in hope over here to my, to the left, you got my pages. And when you click on my pages, what you'll want to start doing as you come in here and create a page, you'll want to start creating categories for your page because for your pages, because when you come in here and you click on my pages by default, it takes you to all categories. So you end up seeing, and this is, this is only when you really start getting down and you really start, you know, getting, getting, getting into it um, mm -hmm. and creating different pages for different things. You'll, you'll come in here and, you, and you'll see all categories. So if you're like looking for something specific, it could take you a while depending on how many pages you got. Like I got a lot of pages right. now. So if I'm looking for one specific page, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be scrolling for a while. But if I put it in a category and I'm like, okay, cool. That, that one is actually in FBS for beginners. Boom, there it is. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So you'll, you'll start categorizing everything. But <clears throat> once you come in here, you click on the green one you click on the plus sign page. These are all the templates. So you, you could start with a blank canvas. You can go in and then, and then, and then um, you can start saving them as well. And that'll be under my favorites, but right here, squeeze page. So you come on in here and you got all these templates that are already done for you. All you got to wow, do is, this edit is crazy. Out. yeah, you just edit out the color edit out the, edit out the text, obviously, but, but it's there, the headline, the, the bullet points, like everything is already there. Like you could preview it. Um, and look, bullet points, headline, there goes the placeholder for the, for the, the opt-in form, you know, so there goes your social media icons. So the template is, is there. Um, and that's, and, and there's a ton of them. So let me go back. So squeeze pages, that's normally your landing page, ton of different templates that you can go off of. And every single one of them, man, is a high converting. These are done by freaking marketing gurus right. like that put these templates together. And again, that dude that I mentioned, Frank Kern, he's a, b a big name behind a lot of these designs as well. But look, it, I can go on for days, man. It's just like it goes on, you know, for a while, like all these different templates. So just find out whatever, you know, whatever you're vibing with and just go with that one. You know, um, that's the squeeze pages. That one, that there's so many there. And then video sales pages. Let's say I want someone to, you know, well, what I do with my, what, what I do with this specifically is... And here's how, here, here's some, a, a good piece of advice I can give you um, okay. on, on the whole book funnel as well. This is how I have mine set up. So for example, when, when someone gets my book, whether they buy it or free download, it doesn't matter. Once they, once they opt in and they, they, they put their name and email and they get the book, they're then on a sequence, right? So now I have a handful of emails that are, that are going out to them over the next several, you know, couple weeks. What I do specifically is I try to get in video as much as I can, man. That's what, that's one thing you want to do too, man. Like I, mm -hmm. I put yourself out there. Like you a good looking guy, man. Ain't nothing to hide. You don't need to hide nothing. Don't hide behind this brand. Nah, Some people want to try I bought to a tripod. I bought a tripod. You might Bro, see it in the back. <laughs> get with it, man. I'm about you, to get you busy. Got it. You got it. You're going to crush it, Greg. You're going to, you're going to crush it because that, that personal brand. And I tell people all the time, and I consult on this every damn day. I'm like, dude, I don't care if you're not good looking. It don't matter what you look like. I don't, I talk to a lot Just of get on video. It the, just, just the fact that it's a video you win. Cause just the fact that it, that, that is you on video, you win. And so what I try to do a lot is I'll also put myself out on video via email. So in any of my sequences, my book one, you know, that I'm giving you an example on as they download the book, they'll start to get a handful of emails in these seek in, in the sequence, in these handful of emails, I have this type of a page set up. So I'll, I'll write out an email 
maybe 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 a few sentences and and then i'll say hey gregory check out this video that i did on all this click here and then boom when they click i'm taking them to another page that looks just like this where it's me on video so so rather than breaking down whatever you're saying via in email via text break it down in video right, right break it down in video right and i can do that so, so don't give problem. me don't give me you know four paragraphs in text give me give me one short paragraph and tell me the rest in video right and and and, and here's what you're going to do that video goes on a page and the reason why it goes on a page that page is linked in that email so i talk about this on it's my part YouTube of a sequence channel. now now that's part of the sequence. So that could be email number one and boom, right? When they click, they go to that page and that's, that's Gregory, right? Gregory right there, giving them game on, 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 on chapter one. And that's how I have my email set up. My emails are based on the book. So in that book, I'm teaching these five steps in my videos via email over the next week or so. I'm talking about these five steps. So I'm talking about what's in the book. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not talking about something different now. I'm, I'm, I'm putting it all on that book. And it applies to it, this applies to anything they're downloading, whatever they're downloading, a cheat sheet, uh, 10 tips, a book, whatever the hell you want to call it. Those emails should be based on what they downloaded. And those emails should be video in my opinion. Right. You know I what I mean? And, and, and so I, again, I talk about this in my, in my YouTube videos where the reason why I take them to a page is for, is for a few reasons. Number one reason is so I can Facebook pixel them. If I had them click on that email, hey, hey, Gregory, take a look at this latest video. It's on my YouTube channel. Click here. If you click and you and I take you to my actual YouTube channel, God knows in four seconds you're watching something on TI. Like right. God knows in four seconds you're watching something on dogs. Like right. the attention is so short, man. Right. So don't take me to YouTube because I'm going to be watching videos on Snoop Dogg before you know it. And, right. and I ain't no, even watching no. your video no more. Because if I'm saying. on YouTube and I see all these other suggested videos, before you know it, I'm watching an interview with freaking drink champs. You know what right. I mean? Like, like right. so, so I keep their attention on this one page, but at the same time, so, so that's number two. I Facebook pixel them, number one. Number two, I keep their attention on this one page. And then number three, I can get them to click the button and get them to do whatever I want them to do. So in my wow. case, the way my business is set up, is where when, when you click on that button, I'm trying to get you to schedule an appointment. So in that video, I might be, it might be a three minute video of me talking about step three that's on page nine. And then at the end of that video, at the end of that three minute video, I'm saying, hey man, and by the way, if you wanna dive deeper into step three and, and really get all my strategies, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. I cannot wait to chat to you. Make sure you check out for email number five coming tomorrow. See you then. So my whole call to action is to get them to click to schedule a, an appointment that can apply for anything. It could be an, a button to get them to register for a webinar. It could be a button to get them to mm -hmm. buy something, whatever. So in my business, I'm, I, 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 I do consulting. So I'm always trying to get people on the phone and, and, and consult with them. So my button is a, it, it just links them to my Kartra calendar. Right. And so again, and that's the same thing I'm going to do. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And, 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 and <clears throat> if it wasn't Kartra, then I'd have to link that to a Calendly or something like that, separate calendar, completely different. Or set more or something like that. Yeah, 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 something like that. But I got everything in one, man. And so um, that's what I do is, is, is I make sure my Facebook pixel is on this. Um, I make sure I, I'm setting up custom audiences inside of Facebook so I can, I can create this custom audience of all these people who, who actually landed on, landed on this page and then I can turn around and run a Facebook ad directly to them in the future. You know what I mean? So, so taking them to one page, that right here is video sales, video sales pages. And again, there's a ton of them. So that's one. But if I scroll down, there's many different sales pages, um, video sales pages. And, and you can click on it. And then boom, it, there's, there's the full template. Like you, I mean, shit. Right. And my video will be right there. Your video is right in there. In that little box. Yep. yep. Your video is right there. Um, so that's, that's the video sales pages. There's a, there's a ton of them. And then thank you pages. Thank you pages are, are super important. I come to your landing page. I opt in. I download your book. Send me the book now. Where do you take me next? That's the thank you page. So in here, there's a ton of thank you pages, again, that are already all done for you. Um, and and here, here's what you want to do also, jot this down. On the thank you page, you want it to be something like, you want it to be something like, like a video. So for example, is this a video one? Let me see. That's like an image, but, but let, me, let me just look up a video one. 
um, like, like this one. And again, that green, that blue, everything is, you edit everything. You can change that entire, everything. You can delete. So if I don't need one, two, three, I can delete it. Like if I want to clone it and go one, two, three, four, five, I could just clone the number three and then that'll be four. Wow. I can clone it again. That'll be number five. So it's, it's like, I'm telling you, man, my 12 year old can, can do this, bro. Like it, it, this is like basic, like that green, I can change out that image. Um, but here's what you want to I can have my logo too. Hell yeah. Your logo goes right there. Um, but, but one thing that's, one thing that's super important as well is, is, is a video on the thank you page. Hey guys, this is Gregory. Thank you so much for downloading my book, top 10 tips to get your credit in order. I just wanted to personally introduce myself right? It's like, a, it's like, a, it's not a, it, it's here, here's, here's four things. Here's, here's, here's what, I, what I want you to write down on that. Thank you video. Here's the four points to hit on. Number one, you're obviously thanking them. And I, and I, and I, and I kind of exaggerated. I kind of go overboard with it. I, I'm like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like, I'm mm -hmm. not just saying, Hey, thanks guys. I'm like really trying to add some sauce to that. I'm like, I want them right. to really feel my passion on how thankful I am. Right. Like I really try to put some emphasis on, 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 on that, 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 um, delivery of thankful, like how thankful I am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for downloading your free copy of the social real estate agent. So that's number one. I'm telling them, thank you. Number two, I'm introducing myself. My name is David. I just wanted to personally introduce myself. I am the author of the social real estate agent. Um, little background of me and where, and where the inspiration came from to even write this book is blah, blah, blah. So number two, I'm introducing myself. Number three, I'm telling them to check their email. I'm saying, hey, I just emailed it to you. So make sure you check your spam. Make sure you check your inbox. But that PDF, that free ebook, it, I just emailed it to you a few seconds ago. So make sure you check that. But also make sure that you check your emails over the next few weeks because I got a ton of emails, a ton of great content that you're not going to want to miss out on. I got a ton of it coming your way. So make sure you open every email I send. That's number three. And then number four, whatever the call to action is in my, in my case, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get them on the phone. So, in, in, so my number four is to schedule a call. So ra rather than one, two, three, I have one simple button schedule call now. So they click on that button and it takes them straight to my cart or calendar. So my number four is to schedule a call, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar. And, 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 and so um, those are the four things that I hit on. Um, when it comes to my book. So my That's book good. over here, like, let me actually show you. Um, here's my thank you page or my thank, my thank you video for my, for my book. So they opt in again, whether it's the free one, whether they, whether they cop it for a few bucks, it don't matter. They go to the same thank you page. Um, so here's, here's my thank you page. So please watch video before claiming your ebook and then boom, it's a simple video. And mine's, mine's seven minutes. Mine's seven minutes because I really go into detail. I'm hitting these four right. things. You're hitting those four points. I'm hitting those four points and I'm talking a little bit. I'm probably talking a little bit more than I should, but at the same time, it's seven minutes and, 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 and it's all good. They'll watch it and boom, there goes my button right there to schedule a call. They click on that. It takes them straight to my calendar where they can schedule a call. But let me, let me play just a few seconds of this. more leads and build your personal brand fast. You guys, my name is David Cantero and I cannot thank you enough. Um, I am the author of The Social Real Estate and I just wanted to personally introduce myself, um, let you know a little bit about, about where I'm coming from and, and give you some context of where the content of this book really originated from. Um, my so it's just, it's just me going into it, man. It's just me going into it seven minutes. I like that. And I like really, that. Really, and, and so when, when you're doing video on the front end, that, that could be powerful. So if you're putting, what I mean by front end is your, is your content. So whether I'm, whether I'm putting out a video organically on social media, on IG, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, whatever that organic traffic, whether it's that video or whether it's, it's a Facebook ad and I'm running that video, that's the first touch point. So boom, now they're, now they're getting value on, on that front end via video. Right. And then right. again, they see me again on the thank you page and they're like, mm -hmm. damn, okay, this guy's really with it. Okay. And then they're seeing my face again in the email sequence. And because I'm taking them to a page in the email sequence, um, because I'm taking them, where did it go? 
because I'm taking them, well, I'll just use this as an example. Because I'm taking them to a page in my email sequence, this page is also being Facebook pixeled. So now I can retarget them in the future with more Facebook ads and they're going to see my face again. Wow. Wow. So, so it's all about seeing that face, man. Like a lot of people, you know, want to hide behind their brand and that's cool too. You could still be, you know, you could build an empire and not even be the face of it. But at the same time, like it, it, it's kind of easy to, to be the face of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm noticing that. I'm noticing like, that. like, especially with your IG, like I peeped your IG, like you got it going on, man. I come to your page. You, you look like a damn influencer. Like it's a really clean IG page. Yeah, with I nice travel. Photos. I, I, man, I travel all over the world, man. Man, I love that, man. I love it. And 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 yeah. and that IG, it 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 it's 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 really appealing to the eye. So when I could see something clean like that, and then I can keep seeing this guy in video, it's like, damn. Let me see what he got going on. Let me click. Right. You know what I mean, so 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 I could do the same thing. So you run Facebook ads and Instagram, or just Facebook? Yeah, both. Yeah, both. Both. Okay. Yeah, both for sure. You want to kind of start with one, but at the same time, you could do both. You could do both for sure. Just run them, run them separately, like run one, one campaign just to Facebook and then a separate campaign just to Instagram, you know, cause as you go through the, the, the ad setup, you can, you can run them to both, but, um, do them separately. That way you can track it. That way you can really see, okay, yeah, the, this Instagram ad is really cracking off or it's not, you know what I mean? Don't right. mix the two, try to run them separately. Okay. Yeah. So where do I start? <laughs> like, let's, let's, um, let's log into, let me stop share and go ahead and go ahead and log into yours. And I'm gonna, I'll just, I'll just kind of put you on game and show you the basics of, of where to start. Um, okay. see if you can share your screen. Yeah, let me see. see it. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. Let me log in now. It's my first time logging in too. Yeah. Cool, man. Right. And whenever you want to jump on these calls, man, just get at me. Like, well, that, that's what I'm here okay. for. Like, that's the whole, you know, um, incentive that I give people, you know, that, that want to get down with my link. I just give you, you know, all my time for free. Oh man. That's, that's nice, man. Yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> so it's terms so, of service. I yeah, agree. So we get to agree to that. So, um, First thing, first thing you want to do is, um, did you, as you were going through the setup process, you can, actually, that's a two minute video. Um, I'm going to just give you a crash course. Just hit the blue one, hit continue. I'll, I'll talk about everything that, that's in that little two minute video. And you could just click the green one. Let the Kartra experience begin. Okay. Okay, cool. So that 8% to the right, like, that's like a, that's like a, um, just like a, like a sequence, like steps on what to do to, to put a full funnel together. So, um, and you can go through that if you want, but at the same time, I'll, I'll show you where to really focus on. Like I'll, I'll give you a crash course and, and it'll make a lot of sense. Um, okay. but, but as you were going through the setup process, the sign up process, did you, um, did you register for the, the weekly training? Um, I don't think I did that yet. Okay. Let me, let me send you, that's something you want to do for sure. Like right away. Um, and you don't have I to signed up for the Facebook culture page though. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Let me send I you this that. link right here. This, um, you don't, you don't necessarily have to be live. Like we do a call. What, what are you Eastern time? Yes. You're in Georgia. Eastern. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, cool. You don't necessarily have to have to be there live, but, but it's always good. It's, it's always cool, but every Tuesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern, Kartra does a, a Q&A, a screen share. It's a live support, so you can jump on. Anybody can jump on and, and just, man, there's been many times where I just jump on, and I, I don't even have a question, but I just want to get it in and listen to what everybody else is asking, and I'm just like a fly right. on the wall, and I'm just listening to the, to the call, and, 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 and um, those are every Tuesday and Thursdays at, at 4 p.m. Eastern. So register for that. That that's number one. I just okay. I just sent it to you in the chat. 
Okay. So just click on that link in the chat and just and just register. But um, that's super important. As long as you, as long as you register, you'll get the replay, so you can always watch the replay. But I, I would I would for sure for the next couple months, I would delegate time. It's one hour um, each call, Tuesday and Thursday. But you can just you know pick one day if you want to just do one day. But right. right. I would I would I would in the first two months I'd make sure. And again, you don't have to be there live. You'll get the replay, but at least delegate time to watch the replay. Okay. Because you'll you'll learn a ton. Like you just want to you just want to jump in, man. Just jump in and just get acclimated to the entire community and the environment and and what's really going on, and the Q and A. Not too many not too many companies do that, man. Where where their actual right. support team jumps on and does it twice a week. Like ClickFunnels doesn't even. Yeah, do that's it. nice. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and it's free and 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 it's every Tuesday and Thursday. So. Okay. One thing we want to do right now is we want to make sure that the email is is set up because as you start to set up these email sequences and just your just your email email overall, um, your default Kartra email is in there and we want to change that. So let's go to let's go to my integrations to the left. Yeah, everything will be to the left right here, and then my integrations is where I integrate. My, my email, which is Kartra Mail, I'll integrate my PayPal, I'll integrate my Stripe, I'll integrate my Google Calendar, um, uh, and that's about it. And the reason why I integrate Google Calendar is because I run everything through Kartra, through my Kartra calendar, right? I run everything, all my appointments, like even you, everything's scheduled through my Kartra calendar. But the Kartra calendar doesn't have yet a reminder. So you won't get a reminder, right? Like a notification on your upcoming appointment. So what, what you can do and what I do is I integrate it with my Google calendar. That's so why I got an email from you that said, you got a Zoom in an hour coming up. Okay. Yeah. No, no, that, that reminder came from Kartra. Oh, However, okay. on Kartra. my end, on my end, on my end, I have it set up on my Google calendar because my Google calendar gives me a notification. All right. Gotcha. So I'll integrate my Kartra calendar with my Google calendar so it can sync. Um, whenever anyone schedules an appointment on my Kartra calendar, it shows and reflects on my Google calendar. And I get my notification from my Google calendar when that appointment's coming up. Gotcha. Right? Like 15 minutes prior is how I have mine set up through my Google, Google calendar. Okay. But yeah, the reminder that you got, like, you got, you got, a, you got, a, you got a notification right when you schedule the call. And then, and then you got another one one hour prior. Those Correct. come out of Kartra. Um, okay. Yeah, so right there. So hit those three dots for the Kartra mail, those three dots right there. And let's just add, um, see right now you have the Kartra one by default. So we're gonna, we're gonna make sure we change that out. So, the, so, so when people get emails from you, it's gonna come from your email, not that one. L do you have the one-time solutions or on-time solutions? On-time solutions, mm -hmm. Do you have that email? I do, I have, uh, I have two. I have info at onetimesolutionsgroup.com and I have the Gmail one. We're, we're not gonna use the Gmail, we're gonna use the, the, the actual real one. So okay. if, it's, if you wanna do the info or if you got your name, whatever, but that one, I that have one info. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do info, Let, yeah, put that one there. Perfect, so any email outside of Kartra, any email that comes out of Kartra will come from that email and then they'll be able to reply to that email and so that's all they see is info at on time solutions group. And then there's your name, Gregory. Perfect. So you're good. Okay, cool. So you can click on, you can click on edit. And as you're setting up emails, you can always send a test email as well. Um, but, but that should be fine. You, you'll be good. You'll be good. So just hit. Okay. Hit, so just hit edit. Yeah. Just hit edit. Okay. Okay, so that's 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 that that right there was super important because if we didn't do that, every single email that you set up through Kartra, you're gonna have to manually edit, and and that's just time consuming. So now we got a default email. Everything's coming out of info. Okay, so so scroll down just a bit. Um, the next thing you'll want to do is again, you can you can sync it with your Google Calendar for sure as well. Um, you'll just go through the setup, the the hit the dots, hit up you go through that setup and integrate it so it can, it can read on your Gmail one to, because do you use that Gmail one for everything for your Google account? 
I really do. I yeah, use perfect. that more than the info. Perfect. Perfect. So, but, but when people email info, it goes to your Gmail, right? No. You have a different goes, email? No, it goes to uh, my regular Outlook. Oh, it goes to uh, Outlook. Email. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So um, in this case, what you can do, so when they email that, that email will go to your, will go to your Outlook as well then. Mm -hmm. So then, so then you may not need the, the, the Google. I may not need that right now. Yeah, right. you may not need that right now because you'll, okay. you'll check everything through Outlook. <clears throat> you'll check everything through Outlook. Okay. And then your PayPal, you'll, you can link that up. And then have you set up a Stripe yet? Uh, no, I need to okay. do that too. Stripe, so you'll want to set up Stripe. a Stripe. Um, that's free. Yeah. That Stripe is the most popular online merchant account. So okay. every single cat that you see selling stuff online, 9.999% 9, 9 out of 10 of them use Stripe. Do Stripe. Okay. And Stripe is free, um, and it's just a, it's just a standard transactional fee that that we all pay, and you'll pay that with whoever whatever merchant account you're taking, you're taking okay. credit cards through. But um, Stripe is is standard. It, all of them all of them charge around around two point nine percent. Okay. Which is which is crazy once you start you know going through some high transactions. It's like shit, yeah. man. <laughs> like I run, you gotta I run give that five, money up, <laughs> bro. It's like, dude, I, I run five hundred dollar because I do a lot of five hundred dollar deals as well. Um, mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, man, it's a fifteen dollar charge, bro. Like fifteen dollars, that that it adds up. It's like shit. So I so so that's that's one thing I talk about in my YouTube video as well, is that you want to know your net. You want to know what the hell you come home with. Like, don't tell me your gross. Right. Tell me what you're coming home with. And and, right. and a lot of people fell to fell to 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 um account for their credit card processing fee because mm -hmm. that's a that's a that's a good chunk man I, I i charged a card for 500 but i only came home with 485 right right make sure, make sure those numbers reflect right so you know mm -hmm. your net so yeah so all credit card processing companies like that are like that paypal same thing like once you start taking the bigger payments through paypal you, they're charging as well so it is what it is. That's just the cost of doing business. Oh yeah. That's how right. I take uh, my payments now. PayPal? With my clients. I use PayPal. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Cool. Yeah. You can, you can, you can integrate that with Kartra. Um, so now, now you can, you can create a, a page inside of Kartra with an order form, link it to your PayPal and then boom, clients can just process their order or you can process um, that order through your Kartra page connected to okay. PayPal or you can keep doing it how you do now, man. But you can, what I would do is I would, I would integrate it. If you're selling your book, integrate it. Once you sell your course, you know, integrate it then, you know what I mean? Okay. You'll, you'll want to integrate it then. Um, and then Stripe. Yeah. Stripe is down there and that's the only one. That's the only one. Um, nothing else below that I, I use. Let's see. Scroll down. Yeah. Zapier, Wishlist. I don't use any of those. So, okay. um, so that's. I never heard of any of these other companies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a member yeah, they're, they're all they are is either process, either merchant accounts or their um, or their like Kajabi is a membership course. So a lot of people again, if they have these other platforms, you can just integrate it with Kartra and and sync it. But you're not gonna you're not gonna need any of those. No, 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 because I'm starting fresh. Yeah, you're starting fresh. So yeah. one <clears throat> thing you want to do since you are starting fresh, what you can do is is maybe start your calendar, set up your calendar. You know, and start using that calendar for everything, man. Now, now, now people can get a, an email reminder. Now people can get a, 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 a confirmation when they schedule an appointment. It, it, it just makes you look super legit with, with the professional calendar like that. Um, okay. but the calendar is something we want to set up. But, but also, jot this down too. When it comes to, click on my pages to the left, my pages. When it, when it comes down to it, you really have, you all, you really have, you really have three main pages, really when it comes to the calendar as well, it's two, but if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're going for appointments, then it's, then it's three. And what I mean by that is you have your landing page, that's one page. And then you have your thank you page. That's the second. Landing, page. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So, so whatever page you're taking me to, and you're and you're asking me to put my name and email. Where do I go next? That's the thank you page. So inside of every funnel, inside of any type of funnel, 
those are the main two pages. If you want to take me somewhere else after that, like what I'm telling you in my email sequences, I put my video on a page and now I'm taking people to that page where they can see my video email that, 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 that that's separate. But, but when it comes to the basic core of it all, it's that landing page, they opt in and then they go to a thank you page. Okay. That's your second right. page. Now okay. the third page is, is, is required as well when it comes to the calendar. So when I go to your calendar and I schedule an appointment and I choose my time and day and I click schedule now, where do you take me next? That's another page. So that's the third page. So, so, page. so when you set up your calendar, your calendar is going to be tied to a, a thank you page, a confirmation page. And, and those are the main three pages, landing page, thank you page, thank you for scheduling page. Okay. If, if you're taking appointments, if you're taking appointments, you may not be taking right. appointments, but if you are, then, then that no, confirmation I am. I am. page. Yeah, perfect. So that confirmation page is, is going to be important. Um, okay. So I guess what you can do first is, is yeah, register for the, for the weekly Q and a, make sure you have, you have my calendar link. So whenever you want to jump on, man, we can, we can always jump on a call. Um, but in my, in my pages, this is kind of, this is, this is how you want to, yeah. So jot this part down too. This okay. is kind of the setup. When, so, 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 so when it comes to these three pages, here's kind of the, the, the skeleton, here's kind of the, the template, here's kind of the, the format. Number one, the landing page. And, and this Got is it. order of creation as well. So this, this is opt-in. This is the opt-in opt page. This is opt-in, this is squeeze page, whatever you want to call it. Squeeze page, okay. landing page, opt-in page. Yeah, that's page number one. And, mm -hmm. and, and I'm telling you this now, I, first I already told you that, now I'm telling you in order of sequence. This, this is where you start. This is how you want to, how you want to sync, this is how you want to set it up. Number one is that sequence page. Number one is that, I mean, excuse me, that squeeze page, that opt-in page. That's number one. And then number two, the thank you page. Mm -hmm. And then number three, my forms. Cal my forms? Okay. My forms. Right there to the left, you got my forms. So, okay. so it's in order. Number one, we do the landing page. Number two, we do the thank you page. And then number three, we set up my form. That form is what's going to go on the landing page, on the squeeze page, on the opt-in page. Okay. But you want to, you want to do the, you want to do the, the, the squeeze page and the thank you page first. So it's in that order. We do the squeeze page first. We do the thank you page second, and then we create the form third. Gotcha. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to create number four. You're going to create a thank you for scheduling page for the calendar. Okay. Thank you for scheduling. Thank you for scheduling. That's, that's going to be one specific page. That's number four. And then number five, you're going to create a form. Okay. And that form is for the calendar. So as they go to your calendar, that calendar needs to be tied to a form. form. Okay. So squeeze page, which is a landing page, then thank you page, then my form, then thank you for scheduling. And then form yes and that last form is for the calendar calendar so you're going to have a you're going to have a, a, a an opt-in form and you're going to have a calendar form okay okay so um that right there is, is pretty much your 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 blueprint right there for for any project any project squeeze page thank you page form my form okay and then you already have the calendar thank you page. And then you already have the calendar form. You'll just do that once because you'll use that calendar for everything. So it's really just when you go and set up a new project, landing page, thank you page, and then the form for that landing page. Okay. 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 So um, if you can tomorrow, jump on that Q and A, jump on that Q and A tomorrow at 4 oh, p.m. Eastern, but you got to register. Did you get the link that I sent you? Uh, Check the, the chat. Okay. Did you, did you, were you able to see it? Yeah, I got it. 
Okay. Hey, Steve, give me, give me one second, boss. Yeah. So as long as you register, you'll be able to, you'll be able to get the replay if you cannot make it live. But, but any, any question, man, that's what they're there for. Like they're on camera. It's, it, it's, it's, it's two to three of them. And these are, these are, these, this is real cartridge support. Like this, these are the brains behind the whole software. Okay. So they're just going live every Tuesday and Thursday and, and answering questions. Like they don't come with an agenda. They just come just raw and whatever question anyone has, they, they'll just answer on the spot and, okay. and actually walk you through it and visually show you how to do the damn thing. Got you, got you, man. Okay. I, I appreciate you, man. Seriously, hey, you got the link to my account. Like this right here was just kind of a, of, of an onboarding call, but let's 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 chat again, like real real soon, and let's get let's dive into it and, and create some okay. pages together. Okay, sounds good, man. So what's good today? talking today's, to you, Dave? Today's uh, Wednesday. Yeah, today's Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think my next. Actually, I think I think I open. I yeah, I think I opened up my calendar. I opened up my calendar for every day. So because before I only had it for a few days a week on this specific project, but, but I'm trying to go all out with this one. So I, I think okay. it opened up every day other than the weekends. So if you okay. can schedule a call for tomorrow or schedule a call for, for Friday or, or Monday, okay. but, but right now, sounds good. those, those basics, just play around with it too. jump into my pages. Um, go back to Karcher real quick, like jump into like exactly that order squeeze page. Thank you page. Form. Screen page. Thank you, page. So, so if you click on the green one, right here. Yeah, click on that one. You got you got squeeze page. So you'll just choose a template and then and then go through the flow. Like, yeah, right. Got here, you. Page. Okay. You'll okay. See, yeah, I see what you're saying now. Okay. Yeah, you'll click on squeeze page and then just choose whichever one. And then, and then after you set that up, then come back in here and go to thank you page, choose one there. And then, and then once you set that, don't worry about making it look pretty right now. Just, just get it up. Just get, just play get with something it. Yeah. up. And, but and nothing's then, going live yet, right? So, no, nothing's going live. Nothing's going live okay. just yet, but, but you always want to make sure you save it, but nothing's going live just yet. And, okay. and, and you can always delete these pages as well, man. Nothing, nothing is, is permanent. Like you can always delete. I want you to just play around with it and try to break the damn thing. Okay. Sounds okay. good, man. But but thanks a lot, you, David. I appreciate it. Oh yes, sir. Thank you, man. But but make sure you have my link to my calendar, right? I want I want to chat again. Like, let's do a bunch of these calls. I want to help you really launch this thing successful, man. Successfully. Sounds so, good, so, man. Sounds so good. So schedule as many calls as you as you can, and, and just try to jump on these Tuesday and Thursday ones as well. All right. Sounds good, man. Cool. Thanks a lot. All right, G. Talk to you soon, man. Thanks, man. All right. Cool. Okay. All right. Bye.